So a brand new Pokemon adaptation is on the way to Netflix, and it's live action. Hmm. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch back in once again with another bit of, I guess you could consider this anime-related news. I mean, it is Pokemon, so I mean, Pokemon definitely, well, actually, it did start out as a video game, didn't it? <laughs> but of course, we all know it and love it for the anime, the cartoon, whatever you want to call it. We, basically, the majority of us grew up with Pokemon. But I am not here to debate that. I am here to talk about the recent uh, news that just came out and that Pokemon live action series is in early development at Netflix. So uh, this article comes from thevariety.com. We're gonna go over it and then of course give you all my thoughts. So let's get it. A new Pokemon series in early development at Netflix. Variety has learned exclusively from sources as the project is still in its early days. No details are available about the plot. However, sources say that Joe Henderson is attached to write and, ex and executive produce. Henderson currently serves as a co-showrunner and executive producer on the popular Netflix series Lucifer, which is preparing to air its sixth and final season at The Streamer. Sources also say that the project would be a live action series akin to the Detective Pikachu film starring Ryan Reynolds and Justice Smith that was released in 2019. Reps for Netflix and Henderson did not immediately re respond to Variety's request for comment. The, the move to develop an original Netflix Pokemon series comes as the streamer has made itself the home to multiple existing Pokemon shows, ex including Pokemon Indigo League and Pokemon Journeys, among others. Netflix has also been making a strong push into anime in recent years, having previously announced original series based on Far Cry, Splinter Cell, and Terminator. Netflix has been moving into more live action adaptations of anime titles as well, including the upcoming Cowboy Bebop and One Piece live action shows. The streamer previously released a live action Death Note film in 2017. The Pokemon franchise as a whole has become a worldwide phenomenon since first launching in 1995. The franchise now encompasses multiple television shows, films, video games, and trading card games, books, manga, comics, and much more. On the live action front, Detective Pikachu proved to be a box office success upon its release. The film grossed over 430 million worldwide on a reported budget of 150 million. So with all that in mind, putting together this man's repertoire and his history with working on the several projects that he's been working on, it's safe to assume that this could be in some good hands. Now the fact that it's supposed to be akin to the De Detective Pikachu, that movie set a pretty high standard. I, I want to say that Nintendo and Game Freak, the Pokemon company, all parties involved, they really did wait it out and they waited for a really good time to even make the first attempt because remember that was the first time we ever got a pokemon live action adaptation and i'm not even gonna lie i was a very very afraid i was super nervous going into that film because i thought it was gonna be bad i'm not even gonna lie to you guys in my mind i've never wanted to imagine what a pokemon would look like in real life because if you think about any of the anime or cartoons or just animated series that have creatures and then they are they're brought to life through the movie screens and whatnot sometimes they end up looking a lot more scarier than what they are intended to actually look like or they'll just freak you out altogether and in pokemon's case as a kid i always knew that i would never really have an interest in wanting or having a desire to see Pokemon adapted in a live action format. Not to say that it couldn't be done, but let's just say there have been a few live action adaptations that would probably turn a lot of people sour. But I will also defend live action anime films and by saying this, there are actually quite a few great ones that people are not realizing or accounting for. And they're only just thinking of all of the the bad ones that really put a stain and not even just a dent, but they just kind of ruined the taste buds of a lot of fans across the board that love the original work. But the second you throw live action into the conversation, I can understand why people would get a little skeptical or just like myself and just not interested altogether. But if you do give them a chance, you'll come to find that there are actually quite a few now. Like I said, there are some that are so bad that it gives that genre a very bad rep and a very bad name. But when it comes to Pokemon, Detective Pikachu actually exceeded all my expectations. The movie was actually very good. The plot was pretty dope, not gonna lie. And I left that theater super impressed and I was like, I actually can't wait to see a sequel if it ever does come. So with all that in mind, I definitely wanna say that I'm 
really looking forward to this live action Netflix adaptation of Pokemon. I mean, if they're going to try to measure up to what Detective Pikachu basically started, I mean, the bar is very high. I feel like with a Netflix series, it could very well have the potential to overcome it. We'll have to see when the time comes. And I wonder if they're going to possibly cross over some of the events or even pay reference to that Detective Pikachu film. Or I want to know exactly what they might adapt. Are they going to go the Detective Pikachu route where it's completely different characters and it's not anyone that we might already be familiar with? Because not going to lie, I feel like that might actually be the safest bet going forward with trying something new even though this is not the first time they're going to be doing this in some kind of live action format because the key here right is that the benefit i should say is if they go with all original characters or they go with new characters that have never been seen i'm talking like ash misty brock none of these people that we're familiar with okay they go with people that we don't know i feel like it has a better chance of being accepted and enjoyed a lot more because sometimes and i'm not even i shouldn't even say sometimes the thing that a lot of people do without realizing even if they don't mean to is they immediately will compare and contrast from what it's adapting to so for example if they actually end up adapting this and they try to directly do like events straight from like season one for example of like the first generation of pokemon you see ash you see misty you see professor oak see all them characters if something is done even the slightest bit you're gonna hear a lot of backlash but again you can't really please anybody or and everybody so welcome to the internet and the modern day how can i help you nonetheless i'm looking forward to it and i want to know what you guys thought think about this news are you excited what are you expecting out of this pokemon live action adaptation for netflix and I'm hoping to actually learn more and hopefully maybe see some kind of a teaser or a trailer, possibly in the near future. I know they did this article did say that they're in early production, so I, 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 I wouldn't expect anything possibly this year. Maybe something next year, but I'll definitely keep my eyes out. And you can bet that I will come back with any other updates in regards to this in a future video. So make sure you guys are hitting that like button and subscribing, especially if you're new, and hitting them alerts on so that you get all of them alerts as soon as a video that I have has goes live hit me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links are going to be in the description as always make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves make the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see y'all next time